everybody to another episode of Movie Social. We are your host, Ricky and Steph. Today's episode, we're going to be doing a review of the new Netflix movie, Work It. Yes, another Netflix movie. So, yes, Work It. It's a dance movie, yet again, by Netflix. Yeah, we know uh, less than about a month ago or so. They had one to come out previously. But before we get into the review, if you're liking the channel, you like this kind of content that we're creating, turn on your notifications, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. And without further ado, the review of the movie Work It. So, to me, I find it entertaining for a if you felt like you had a long week, especially for a lot of those on the East Coast with the storms that happened this past week, the hurricane. And so it was kind of a long, drawn out, dragged week. This was a more so a feel good uh, movie to watch. It was entertaining, it was comical at times, and it was relaxing. It wasn't your, uh, oh, I gotta think who did this, who done it, or suspense or thriller. It didn't have you on the edge of your seat in that kind of way where it kept your heart racing and pounding, adding to the long week. So for me, it was relaxing and entertaining, and I enjoyed it. Even though we've had two dance movies from Netflix in less than uh, two months. But this one wasn't the same in a way to me as the last one. As far as the fact that, yes, it was dancing. One was high school related. One was post school, all that. And the whole demeanor was different. Whole different style and a whole different way. The first one was more so somebody coming from a ballet standpoint. Don't admit. This one was more freestylish. More any kind of choreography. And it actually had cast members from uh, other hit shows and things. Quite a few CW cast members because the one of the main uh, antagonists from the show plays Kid Flash. The other person uh, from the uh, uh, Bed store, the mattress store, plays in uh, Riverdale, and then you also had the YouTube sensation on there. It was actually a great show for me, great movie. I don't, I know uh, my counterpart here has other opinions, but I'm gonna let him get on his opinion. So, <laughs> so there is just my thing is just like I'm uh. I'm not gonna say I didn't like it. It was okay. It was okay. Um, I'm just tired of the same copy and paste. Certain things are copy and paste for sure. To me, this is a copy and paste movie. Um, you had like okay, people who can't dance. You had that's just about every dance movie. Someone well, can't. She dance. really could not dance in this. <laughs> I mean, she had two left feet, but still, no, she couldn't coordinate. Coordinate with beat nothing, which is fine, which yeah, is true. No rhythm, but you know, in every movie you have someone who can't dance or a group of people who can't dance. It, it's always someone in the movie that can't dance. Okay, boom. I mean, that's a little, then you have them. Premise. Then you have like, them joining a dance competition. Okay, for whatever reason they join a dance competition. They initially don't get into said competition at the qualifying. Well, technically, rounds. they did initially get in for this one. They it. The person the other group got disqualified, but technically it wasn't like, oh, you lost the competition. No, 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 no. They got in. So the technical part for me was this. If the guy on the other team would have wore the correct outfit or the appropriate equipment for his 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 areas. Listen, the man had a boner on, on stage. You cannot be dancing and get a boner anyway. My First of all, how do you get one of those while you're dancing? Doing that and nobody's grinding up on you or nothing like that. That listen, made no listen, sense. Listen, listen. They would have lost. They even said yes, that. Yes, they would have lost, but they didn't lose. That. So it's not it, the same as a, most of the other ones where they lost and then got the call later on. Oh, you're now and due to this other group being disqualified. Even or anything the girl happening. said that we got we only got in on technicality. Yes. So they got in. They, they didn't. Got, they didn't get. Okay, you, you guys lost. 
the, they didn't go to scorecard at all for the other group. They got disqualified the other yeah, group immediately. But they, the, that other group was way better. So it wasn't the exact same. Damn straight, that group was way better. Everybody was way better. <laughs> that's my point. I was way better than them because they weren't that's, focused. They then, didn't have. Then you have your over the top antagonist, and the guy was over the top. I mean, you always have to have that because it's, they stand out. They, but I didn't like the part where uh, he went at the shop and then snitched on the other guy just because you've seen that they were becoming better and getting better than you. Which always happens. This is yes. how I feel like this this person did. Okay, and this is no no shot at the director. This is a shot at the writer. Oh, that looked like a good movie. Control C. Let me open up Windows again. Control V. Copy and paste. Yeah, see, That's just my opinion, though. They changed up the whole meaning of why it was happening. The kind of competition. And honestly, the dance performance at the end was really good. It was a good performance, but my favorite person of all time, excuse me, in the movie, was the uh, administrative director. Yeah, she was hilarious. She was absolutely hilarious. For her little bit of role, she was hilarious. I kind of wish she'd have been in it just a little bit more. But Agreed. You know. She was hilarious, man. Which, how, but, whatever she got fired from Duke for, they never died. Well, we know that. why she got fired from Duke. Because of the way she tried to change up, because they said it though, yeah. that she tried to change up the uh, thing instead of going out, instead of being in the box, going outside the box. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, I expect some universities not to want to go out the box like Harvard or all those type of yeah. universities. And it's weird because that that's one thing I can honestly say that this movie did change and it was refreshing. How most people who are um, geniuses, I mean, we call them what they are, they're geniuses. Yeah. How they want to go to Harvard, Yale, yeah. and stuff like that. She just wanted to go to Duke because her yeah. daddy went to Duke. Yeah, she. I mean, she mentions all that, but I don't. That's one, this is the one part of the movie that didn't make sense to me. How is it that she was doing so well in school and all that, and then all over the course of a few months, how how you say your grades are trash now? It does not matter that from a standpoint. Yeah, yeah. If you're a senior in high school now. You've been doing good practically where you have a 4.0 GPA. You start messing up on grades for like three months. You don't go from an A down to a D or F just like yeah, that for you your overall know. GPA. You don't. It's not possible. It's not Even happening. one bad test. I mean, maybe because she had 4.0. No, but see, three but, months is only, three to four months is only one marking period anyway. Yeah, so but, you're not going from one marking period from a 4.0 all the way down to an F. Agree, yeah. You're not so that part was the only thing that kind of I think the writers really didn't pay attention to, to the reality of that. But other than that, I enjoyed the show. It was okay. They put on the show. They even paid homage to some of the more of the original dancing shows, well movies, with uh, mentioning Channing Tatum being a uh, the choreographer, not being able to get him at all. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I thought the move, the dance moves were a little bit original compared to other things in recent years. I guess that I just thought it was so so so. I mean, but we've so, seen so. them all though. A lot of dance movies. Yeah. We can start to probably divulge into some new genres if we can find them. I'm about to make me a dance movie. See, when I look for dance movies, I want something different. Like before, we're just calling. For example, um. Stump the Yard was a, is a dance movie, but it was different. Now, I don't want to see Stump the Yard ever again now. But when it first came out, something like that was different. But, I mean, I don't know. Me, personally, I just feel like I'm just done with dance movies for a little while. I mean, hey, it, as the world turns, that's all I'm going to say on that one. But you guys let us know in the comments below. Did you enjoy the movie? Did you find it entertaining? Did you think it was a... Not original, but did you think it was unique in its own way, or did you think it was straight uh, copy and paste? Control C. As this guy thinks. Control V. Let us know. Till next time.